Activity types in Primavera P6. Activity type is an important concept to know when you go with your scheduling using the Primavera P6 software. In this video, we are going to learn the activity types used. To have the activity type, first you have to go to the project tab in the window. So it opens up the projects window. In that, in the bottom part, I am going to go to the defaults. And I am going to first going to choose this act project which is web ms2.5 it is an information management system so here under defaults as you can see we have multiple activity types i'll take a closer look you can see we have task dependent we have resource dependent we have finish milestone start milestone level of effort and wbs summary so whatever you are choosing here the same thing will be applicable as you add on activities for your plan now coming back so here we have chosen the task dependent that is the default activity type now going to the activities window as you can see we have a number of activities and we have number of activity types this is shown in the activity type column here we have start milestone finish milestone task dependent resource dependent etc so first i'm going to show you what is task dependent so here for the prd preparation i'm going to select the drop down and choose task dependent now here the task dependent came up a task dependent activity will be dependent on the activities calendar so depending on the activity calendar which is the corporate standard time full time the activity will be scheduled and the duration and the dates will be determined on the other hand if i am choosing here the resource dependent if i do that so here it changed the resource dependent activity will be dependent on the resource calendar not the activity calendar so when I go to the resources, we have two resources assigned. Each of these resources will have their individual calendars. And a resource dependent activity will be dependent on the resource calendar. Now we have the milestone activity as well, start milestone and finish milestone. A milestone is a significant point or event in the project plan. So when you have a start milestone, only the start date will get populated. As you can see, we have the start date is populated for start milestone. For the finish milestone, we have only the finish date populated. As you can see, for the finished milestone, we have 11th of November, the finished date. For the start milestone, we have 4th of October, this two. Other elements are empty. And of course, the float will be zero because milestones are considered to be part of the critical activity or critical part, uh, the critical path. So coming back to our original one, we have these two milestones. And this is displayed as a dot or a more appropriately we have this diamond a black color diamond representing the milestone then we have the level of effort and the wbs summary i am going to scroll down to the bottom part here we have management work and it is a level of effort activity as you can see the level of effort activity is dependent on the predecessor and or the successor so depending on the predecessor and the successor dates the duration of the level of effort will be determined so here we have management work and it the predecessor is the project start as you shown the successor is project finish and here if i drag the divider to the left you can see we have this particular activity hanging between these two activity of start and finish if the finish date is shifting then the level of effort this line also is going to shift because it will be determined by the star predecessor and the successor start dates it looks like an hammock activity it behaves like an hammock activity but it is not exactly a hammock activity because for miles to, uh, for the level of effort we can assign resources any number of resources you can assign with respect to the level of effort activity another one is with respect to the wbs summary activity so here again we have a task called wbs summary activity the, the activity type is WBS summary. The name is saying it is a summary activity. In other words, this activity type summarizes the elements of the WBS with which it is associated. So here we have WBS summary activities associated with this element of WBS 2.5.1 requirement analysis phase and that is the name of the activity we have. So all the elements will be summarized by this activity. As you can see here also the duration is nine days here also the duration is nine days then i'll take this one and drag to the right the start date is 4th of october here also start date and finish date are 4th of october and 14th of october the total float is 20 days here the total float is 20 days so these are the activity types we have that is total 
task dependent, resource dependent, start milestone, finished milestone, the level of activity and the WBS summary activity. There is a detailed article published at managementyogi.com, the link of which will be given in the video description below. Go through that link to understand various activity types in detail with examples. And subscribe to this channel to more about to know more about the Primavera P6 related uh, scheduling or the formulas or various activities that you can perform because I'll be periodically publishing articles as well as videos related to Primavera P6.